Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the Better Minecraft Mod Pack for Minecraft 1.16.5. Basically this is a mod pack that makes Minecraft better. That's its goal. Its goal is to keep Minecraft as vanilla as possible while adding in over 200 mods for additional content and things like that. There's new dimensions to explore. There's hundreds of different biomes. There's biomes in the end. There's biomes in the nether. The goal of the creator of the Better Minecraft Mod Pack is honestly to make Minecraft what it should be with all the different biomes and all the different dimensions and everything like that. that modded has that keeps it still vanilla without adding in tons and tons of extra crazy content outside of that so it's really really cool if you love vanilla minecraft and just want a better experience that's where the better minecraft mod pack really really comes in first and foremost though what if you want to host a server on the better minecraft mod pack well if you want to do that apex minecraft hosting is the place for you they have one click setup tons of different mod packs including a better minecraft and it is absolutely incredible we actually love and trust apex so much we host our own server play our breakdown craft.com on them so if you want to play better minecraft with your friends look no further than and Apex Minecraft host. You can check them out at the first link down below. The breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to get your server up and running on Better Minecraft, any mod pack you want, or just vanilla Minecraft in general. No matter what you want to do in your server, you can do it at Apex Minecraft hosting. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump in to getting the Better Minecraft mod pack downloaded. That's why you're here after all. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is actually our complete guide for getting Curse Forge. We're going to be going through the basically most of the steps in this, but if you want to go over everything and see how to get other mod packs and all that, that's where this tutorial comes. Yeah. Once you're here, there, scroll down and click on this orange, or sorry, yellow download button, download Curse Forge here. When you click on that, it's going to take you off to the Curse Forge download page, where you want to click on download for Windows. When you do that, it should take a few seconds, but it will go ahead and automatically download in the bottom left. Curse Forge, there it is. Now if we go ahead and minimize our browser. We have on our desktop the Curse Forge installer. If this isn't in your desktop, no worries, in your download folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon it's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen, and then go ahead and type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here, click on that, and then in here you will find CurseForge. Drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and get CurseForge installed. To do this, go ahead and double click on the CurseForge installer you downloaded, and then it's going to open up the installer for CurseForge. It's not too complicated here. Now one thing you do need to know is that Overwolf, right here, Overwolf is the owner of CurseForge, and you will need to install the Overwolf app in order to get CurseForge, but it's all done via this one installer. So let's go ahead and click Next here, and then it's going to go ahead and confirm if we just want a CurseForge shortcut or if we want one for Overwolf as well. In this case, I just want one for Curse Forge, so we're going to just leave that checked. We want to agree to their terms and privacy policy, which I've already checked out, and then we go ahead and click Next. Now it's going to go through, download, install, set up, Overwolf, it's going to set up Curse Forge, and then at the end, it's going to give you the option to open up Curse Forge. And that's kind of that, right? You've installed the Curse Forge launcher, it's not that difficult, it's very, very easy, and that's what I love about Curse Forge, is it makes getting mod packs so flippin' easy, because it's just you know, download and install a program like you would download and install any other program. You don't even have to, like, confirm it with your browser unless you're on, like, Mozilla Firefox. You may have to. But on Google Chrome, it's completely trusted. And that's great because there's no, like, worry with downloading mod packs with CurseForge. It just works, right? It's great, and I love Curse Wars for that reason. As you can see now, it is finishing. Now, when it does finish, it's going to open up this right here, which is basically saying thank you for downloading and installing CurseForge, all that stuff, and you are very welcome. Now, if we minimize our browser, we do have this, and we can click Launch in the bottom right. If you click Launch, or if you accidentally don't click it or something like that, there's also this desktop icon, and you can double-click on that to open up CurseForge as well. As you can see, it is now preparing for the first launch of CurseForge, and when it does open, it's going to give you a little tutorial. I'm going to skip that here. If you want more in-depth look at CurseForge, you can go check out our in-depth guide on it that we showed at the beginning of this video. But nevertheless, once this is open here, as you can see, it is this nice preloader, if you will, with the fire and the embers and all that. It's going to open up this tutorial. We're going to go ahead and close out of that. We don't need it, honestly. Now, it's going to then land on your Choose a Game page, where you want to choose Minecraft, of course. Then you want to go ahead and click on the orange Continue button, and it's going to install Minecraft for, basically, Curse Forge to work with it. Once it's done that, we're going to go ahead and search for mod packs up here, and we just want to type in Better Minecraft. Once you type that in, you'll see right here it is, Better Minecraft Forge. Now, you can do Better Minecraft Fabric if you want, but I personally like the Forge one bit better because it does have 1.17 caves and cliffs as well as 200 versus 150 mods. As you can see, this is a pro proper vanilla mod pack with 250 or 200 plus mods. Plus it does have the 1.17 caves and cliffs update. It does that by kind of hacking it in. It's not actually 1.17, but I'm sure they will update it once it's time. Let's go ahead and click on the orange install button here. And after a few seconds, it will go ahead and download or start downloading the uh, better Minecraft mod pack. And then it's going to install it. It is over 200 mods though, so it is going to take some time. Just 
being warned, just be warned of that. It's going to take some time. And once it does finish installing, you will be able to play the mod pack. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut until it is finished, and then I will see you to play better Minecraft. Also, do want to jump in and like say real quick, when I stopped that jump cut, it was like showing a spinning wheel on my mouse. And a lot of people see me jump cut at those moments, and they're like, I bet it crashed. It was showing this right here. This is this little spinning wheel on my mouse. A lot of people see that and think, I bet it crashed at that moment. That was when it crashed, right when the jump cut happened, because that's why he jump cut. And no, that's not the case. I just do jump cuts so we're not sitting here talking about nothing while it's installing, right? It's going to do that. It's going to go up and it's going to do that little spinning wheel. But as you can see, it's moving through all of the patches as it's doing that. And it just reloaded better or just reloaded the Curse Forge launcher. And now when it's doing that, the reason it did that is because it is now installing those mods. You can see mod 10, 11, 12, so on and so forth. It's going through and installing those mods there. So that's what it's doing. Again, we're just sitting here waiting. Don't be freaked out if it does do what it just did, which is take you back to the My Mod Packs tab. If you ever want to get back to there, just click on Minecraft on the left-hand side, and it's going to take you right back here. So anyway, let's go ahead, let it finish the installing these 212 mods, and I will see you once it's finished. So as you can now see, the installer basically progress bar has disappeared on Better Minecraft, and what that means, it's done installing. To play it, just hover over Better Minecraft and click on the orange play button here. That appears. It's then going to reload and basically open up the Minecraft launcher, where you will need to log in to the Minecraft launcher. Now, this is the default normal Minecraft launcher that you're used to logging into, so just go ahead and log on in like you normally would. And then once you are logged in, it's still loading. I'm getting ahead of myself. So it's going to open up the Minecraft launcher like this where you will need to log in either with your Microsoft or Mojang account. And once you are logged in, it's very easy to play better Minecraft. So let me go ahead and log in really fast. There we go. We are now logged into the Minecraft launcher. And as you can see here in the bottom left, better Minecraft is already selected. You can click on that and select it here if it's not selected automatically, which it should be. If you do click on this little drop down box here and it's still not there, just close out of the Minecraft launcher and click play on better Minecraft again. You won't have to log into the launcher this time. It'll just open up and you'll see better Minecraft there where we can then go ahead and click the green play button. It's going to say, are you sure you want to play modded Minecraft? And yes, we are. So click on that understand the risk button and click play. And now better Minecraft is going to open up and currently 1.16.5, but what I'm sure the future will be newer versions. The great thing about mod packs is they can update without having to re-download everything. Literally, as you can see V19 here, it can update automatically via the Curse Forge launcher. And that's just one of the many, many things that is truly incredible about the Curse Forge launcher and how it handles mod packs. But as you can see here, it is now downloading this for Minecraft. I will do one more jump cut until this is almost finished and then once it is we will go ahead and show you what happens when it starts to open up better minecraft so the download just finished right as i clicked start recording again and uh basically now this is what you will see once the download in the minecraft launcher is finished it will open up the forge mod loader early at loading process here and uh it's just gonna go through check that all the mods are there and then start trying to open them now it's not gonna open them per se it's then gonna reload as you can see right here and start opening actual minecraft i do notice that our resolution Resolution is a bit off, so we'll have to fix that later, but it's now going through and getting everything started. If it does freeze and stuff like that, that is perfectly okay and completely normal. One thing I will say is if you do see this right up here getting too close and getting to 100%, then it might mean that you need to add more RAM. Now, by default, that shouldn't be the case. Whoa, it just opened up full screen. I'm sure that really messed that up. Okay, there we go. We're now full screen. It's very, very odd. Not used to that, but we'll go ahead and run with it full screen. Why not? So anyway, as you can see here, it is now opening up Minecraft, and it's just going to take it a minute to do that. It's modded minecraft modded minecraft takes forever to load and that's just that that's just how modded minecraft works it's always worked like that ftb packs back in the day literally used to take 30 minutes to open it's not the case anymore it's a lot more efficient than it used to be but that used to be the case you would have a 200 plus mod mod pack and it would take half an hour to get it up and running luckily it actually looks like better minecraft is actually pretty fast to open in regards to mod packs because here we are we are now in the game now i do see that the single player button is a little messed up there but that's okay as you can see we do have multiplayer here if you want to play on a multiplayer apex server you can do that let's go ahead and click on single player there though and kind of load on in now it's going to do a new world so we're going to do test world here and then we're going to go ahead and make it creative because that's what i like to start my worlds off in i was going to allow cheats there I'm going to create a new world so at this point we're just going to sit back relax let this world create and i will meet you once we are in game so here we are in game and i can already tell you i do apologize for any lag you see that's just because my computer is uh, not that great and does have some trouble or some times running things but wow we have spawned in a village and look at that it is absolutely beautiful honestly like, sit in this beautiful, huge, like, tree biome. Oh, we have more villages down this way. Oh, that's really, really cool, actually. So then we have another biome over here with these huge, tall birch trees. Wow. 
I, I, you know, this is actually a mod pack that I really, really could see myself, like, truly playing, because it's, it's just, I love vanilla Minecraft, but this just takes that and, and elevates it, and that is what I like to see. We've got, as you can see, custom, what is this? The swans, just sitting on a lake, like, wow. I'm kind of speechless with how uh, well this is put together, and I hope you all enjoy this mod pack as much as it seems like I would enjoy playing it. Um, it wow, it's what is this? Whoa. Did we just hit like a foggy, icy biome? What, what just happened? That was weird. Um, so we've got a swamp ice biome here? Yeah, with fog? Whoa, that's cool. Let's see if the fog actually dissipates when we leave the biome. Or if there's something else has happened. We also do have this book, by the way, and I don't know if this is a... Oh, this is a... Is this a map? That kind of, like, unveils everything? We, what? So this is the Antique Atlas 1. And, and, and wow, I'm, I'm actually impressed by that. So it seems like we might be about to exit that. And yeah, sure enough, as soon as we exit that biome, the fog goes away and it goes back to a completely different sort of biome. Wow. Well done. I, I love that. I, I really do. That's amazing. There's the lag that I was talking about. But anyway, this is a really, really cool mod pack and something if you love vanilla Minecraft like I do, you will absolutely love. What, you, what even is this? These are ferns? I don't even know. Anyway, nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Enjoy the better Minecraft mod pack. I'm out. Peace.